Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to tint and laminate my brows because these brows need something. I did laminate and tint my brows in the past. I actually have a video on it and I have not laminated my brows since that video. I have tinted them many times. I usually tint them because my natural hair is very, very light. So my brows look almost non-existent and tinting it just makes it easy to kind of like get up and go. So I just wanted to laminate my brows once again and I'm going to be trying a new kit. I got both of these off of Amazon. They're from the brand Ariana New York. This is their Pro Series Brow Lift Kit and then their Hybrid Tint Professional Next Generation Semi-Permanent Hair Color System. And I got mine in the shade Light Brown. So. We're going to be trying these products in today's video. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous. I think that's why I haven't laminated them since. Even though I really like the results the first time around, I don't know, I just feel like it can, it can possibly go wrong. But it's pretty straightforward. So here is the laminating kit right here. You get the lift solution. I got the professional series because this one kind of has individual sachets. So you have the lift, fix, nutrition, and then lamination tools, I guess. And then the little individual pouches look like this. So it's a lot more sanitary, I guess you can say. And you can share if you want to. So your sister can do it, your friend, your best friend, whatever, whomever. Take a before photograph, wash and sanitize your hands, remove makeup and oil. Okay, that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I have my magic primer here. It helps get rid of excess dirt and oils when I do my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it across my brows to make sure they are nice and clean. All right, so it looks like you get spoolies and then these little tiny brushes of sorts. So you have the little ridges and then this little cotton tip here. One thing that they do not include is cling wrap. So I just went ahead and got some of my own pieces. Make sure that you have all your tools ready before you start. And then it says comb through your eyebrows using a disposable mascara wand. And go ahead and brush them up. Well, my eyebrows are different shapes. This one's like a little more arched and this one's a little more rounded. So when I tint them, I kind of try to create a shape that is similar. Here's a little bit of a before. Apply a lift cream, sachet number one, on brows evenly and brush them up. And then you cover with plastic film. It says that the lift lotion is gonna soften the eyebrow hairs and then change the elasticity of it. Not too much, not too little keep brushing them up so i saw on the video they have like a little video i think she took off the clink film midway a couple times couple times through the processing time and kind of brushed them up i'm gonna do the same thing Ugh, this stuff smells it smells like that nair hair removal stuff it does not smell that good i'm trying to brush it in the direction that i want them so i don't want them like straight up the tip of the brow i kind of want to be a little bit more upward and then the rest i kind of move to the side so it's not completely up. I'm just trying to make sure that the hairs are kind of moving in the same direction so that afterwards they don't look all funky. And I only used about half for my hair. Seems like it's enough, but I mean, I guess we'll see. All right, now I'm gonna place the cling wrap right on top and I'm gonna let it process for about six minutes. And then within those six minutes, I'm gonna take it off maybe like two times and then brush them up. So it's been about six minutes, give or take. I only took the cling wrap off once to brush them up. Now it says to remove the lift solution. So I'm going to use that same kind of cleanser and gently, it says to gently remove the lift solution. Now it says to apply the fixed solution and kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to apply it without trying to get it on the skin. And for this, I'm going to use the little, one, the little spoolie. Just kind of get it on there and really be a little bit more meticulous. And this stuff does not smell as bad as the other one. That first one like really smells. I look like I literally have no eyebrow hairs. They're so light, it's crazy. I'm gonna take a new piece of cling wrap and then apply that over this step and then let that sit for six to eight minutes as well. It's 6.33, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cling wrap. Just to make sure to wipe off the lotions 
completely from brows and skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But the last step is step three, which is the nutrition. I'm gonna use a little bit of this and whatever's left over, I'll reapply every morning. Probably should not have applied this actually because I'm gonna be tinting my eyebrows. So I'm gonna have to remove it. This is what the brows look like before I tint them. They look kind of crazy and arched, but I'm gonna trust the process and we're gonna move on to the tint kit. I did wanna mention that this brow lift kit is so easy to use. It was so much easier to follow than the first one that I used. This one literally has three steps and I like that they have like the little individual sachets so that you can like share it if you wanted to because I had a friend that wanted to use my other kit um, and I feel like this is just so much more sanitary. Let's open up the hybrid tint kit. Never tried this one. I usually use the Godefroy one that one i've been using that one for such a long time so i'm so used to it but i figured let me try something new from the same brand so it comes with this measuring cup of sorts a little brush which is going to be nice to apply i think this is the developer light brown semi-permanent hair color now this is the hair color this is the developer i believe yes so this is a cream oxidant 3% 10 volume developer step one says to remove any excess oils from the skin so there goes my nutrition oil. It says shake the oxidant, give it a nice big shake. Put approximately a pea-sized amount of the tint in a pea-sized amount of cream into a mixing dish. Then you use this brush to mix the two products together until you get a creamy paste. Apply the tint to the area of application using this brush. It does stain the skin, so I knew that. And application times will vary four to 10 minutes depending on desired intensity and results. So I think I'm gonna leave it on for four minutes. I have equal parts here and I'm gonna mix it with the brush. And what I like to do when I tint my eyebrows is I go ahead and outline them. And I almost feel like this is not gonna be dark enough, but I guess we'll see. I feel like this is literally not doing anything. Let me add a little bit more. I'm so confused because now the tint is a lot darker. It's like almost like a gray, whereas at first it was like a creamy color. All right, I think I'm starting to see, all right, yeah, I'm definitely starting to see the color pick up. Wow, this tint's really, really fast. It's a lot different from the Godefroy one. It's a little bit too warm for my liking, but I'm gonna go in with one more layer and then I'm gonna do this eyebrow. All right, here is both eyebrows tinted. It's not really staying tinted how I wanted to, like once I wipe it off, even leaving it on for five minutes. This is probably my fourth time doing this eyebrow. It's not giving the shape that I want, like it's not really staying on my skin. So I'm kind of getting tired of applying, reapplying, but it honestly doesn't really look that bad. Actually, compared to what we were working with before, this is the last time that I'm gonna apply a tint, but I wasn't really happy with the shape. Like I want my eyebrows to have a bit of an outline. So hopefully this kind of gives me a little bit of an outline. Otherwise I feel like the tips are kind of jaggedy and I don't know. So I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes remove it and hope for the best let me go ahead and apply some more of that nourishing oil because i feel like i did a number on my brows today sorry it's getting dark so i'm trying to finish off this video but here is the end result overall i'm pretty happy with them the brow lift kit worked really well did the job was super easy to follow i love that it had the individual satchels 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 it's satchels and then very easy with the three steps the brow tint kit, I did like that it picked up color really fast, but I'm not crazy about the actual color that I got. So I got light brown and I still feel like it's a little bit too warm toned for my liking. I wish it was a little bit more ashy, but the tint itself did work well and was very easy to use. It actually might have worked better than the Godefroy one. I feel like the Godefroy one, it takes a while to see the color pick up. This one almost like instantly grabs color so i did like that but overall really happy with the results and here's what it looks like from a distance they do offer aftercare directions in the box as well so i'll link both of these down below in case you guys want to check them out and use them but i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial of sorts otherwise thank you guys for hanging out and i'll see you guys in future videos